In this video, I will provide a quick explanation of the Beaufort cipher. So here's the idea with this cipher. Let's say we have the plain text, math is fun. And let's say you want to encrypt it using the Beaufort cipher. The first step is you need to pick a relatively short keyword. So for this example, let's say we pick the keyword, hey. What we're going to do is form something known as a key stream, and this is simply the keyword repeated over and over again until it's the exact same length as the plain text that you want to encode. So to actually encrypt this plain text, here's what we're going to do. We're going to use this table right here in which the column headers are the alphabetical letters A through Z, and the row headers are also A through Z, and the first column in this table is simply A through Z, but to get each next column in the table, we're shifting the alphabet down by one. So here's how the encryption actually works. We're going to use letter pairs between the key stream and the plain text. So our first pair is H, M. What we're going to do is find H among the rows, so here's the H, and then find M among the columns, so here's M, and we'll just see where they intersect. So we see that they intersect at the letter V. So the first letter in our ciphertext is going to be V. And then we're just going to repeat that process for each pair of letters in the key stream and the plain text. So for example, our next letter pair is E, A. So we'll find E among the rows, and then A among the columns, and we'll find that they intersect at E right here. So our second letter in the ciphertext will be E. And we'll just keep repeating this process for each pair of letters between the key stream and the plain text. So this is what our ciphertext turns out to be. So that's how you can encrypt the plain text math is fun using the Beaufort cipher. Okay, now let's say that we're given this cipher text and we want to decrypt it using the Beaufort cipher. How could we do that? Well, first we need to know what keyword was used to actually encrypt it in the first place. So let's say we do know that the keyword was hey. What we're going to do again is form a key stream where we just repeat this keyword over and over again until it's the same length as the cipher text. So here's what that looks like. Now to actually decrypt this ciphertext, here's what we're going to do. We're going to find character pairs once again, and we'll say, let's look for row H. So here's row H. And let's look for column V. So here's column V. And let's find where they intersect. And we will see that they intersect at the character M. So the first letter in our plain text must have been M. We'll just continue to repeat this process for each letter pair between the key stream and the ciphertext. So for example, the next pair is E and E. So we'll find E among the rows, right here, and we'll find E among the columns, right here, and we'll find that they intersect at the letter A. So that means A is our next letter in the plain text, and we'll just continue in this manner until we've decoded the entire cipher text. And we will find that the original plain text was math is fun. So that was just a quick example of how to encrypt and decrypt text using the Beaufort cipher.